Hey there, it's uh, Mike, aka Bitfixer. Um, I'm here to uh, give you a first look at the uh, PetVet board that I've been working on. It's a, uh, it's basically a RAM and ROM replacement for a Commodore PET. Plus, it has some diagnostic features where um, that should hopefully help you uh, diagnose problems on uh, some Commodore PET boards. Uh, basically, lets you uh, dump out locations in uh, memory through a serial port so you can check if uh, certain things are wrong and uh, you can also watch what's going on in the screen memory because it can write through into this into uh, the RAM on the PetVet board. So let's take a look. Um, so it fits right into the 6502 socket on the motherboard. Here's the C and you take the 6502 you put it in this socket here there's an Atmel microcontroller um, which is loading upon startup it loads a ROM image into an SRAM chip over here it's a 128k SRAM which we're using half of there's another SRAM here this is a I believe a 2k RAM which I'm using as a programmable logic device um, there's a few other support chips there's some uh, tri-state buffers to isolate the address lines while the when we um, halt the CPU to dump out the contents of memory and there's a data bus driver here um, which can uh, isolate the data bus from the uh, from the rest of the motherboard when we are writing to or reading from the SRAM and then there's a uh, RS-232 driver here which uh, drives the serial port and as you can see there's a serial cable connected here which is connected to a uh, terminal program on my other computer um, also here's the uh, here's the schematic I mean the uh, board layout here and let's get the uh, let's get the serial terminal up here and uh, we'll just try to take a look at the pet vet in action so this is a pet 2001 you see, this particular motherboard, you can see there's no ROMs at all on the board, and it actually only has, I believe, 8K of RAM, and it also has some holes punched in here, so the, I guess Commodore really didn't want people to upgrade their, uh, their RAM on the computer. But in this case, we have, so take that, Commodore. Um, so here we go. Let's, let's fire it up. So here we go, you can see my custom basic kernel. It's no longer Commodore Basic, it's Cogmodore Basic, <laughs> which I did to, uh, I was testing out whether it was really reading from the ROMs or not. But in this case, we know it is because there's no ROMs on the board. So let's write a little program. A little pet bat. All right, let's run it. And I'm going to spell in the screen memory with some other stuff so we can see the uh, diagnostic feature. So we, so it's, you know, Commodore's running normally. Let's go over here to our serial terminal. So right now I have it where if we, uh, we, if we hit a key, we get a, uh, we dump out the memory. So I'm going to hit a key here. So it's halting the CPU. And you can see here, so what it does is it halts the CPU and then it prints out the contents of uh, the video RAM, which corresponds to the what we have over here. And I'm going to do it one more time. And you can see over here, all, really, all that really happens is it the cursor freezes for a second and then while it's you know, halting the CPU and it sends the it sends the uh, the memory contents over, and you can do that with any any locations in memory. Right now, I just have it set up to send the uh, screen memory. But uh, anyway, that's uh, that's it for the first look at the pet vet. Um, hope that is interesting to you, and I'll talk to you later.